Hey guys, that's Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. In today's episode, we're going to be going over an introduction to Matinee. Now, Matinee is one of the engine's most powerful tools and allows us to create specialized animation tracks with keyframes that can be used for all kinds of things such as sounds, animations, particle effects, cameras and more. Having said that, over the next few videos we'll be going over how you can use Matinee to create cinematics, animations, effects and movement tracks. In the background I have a few examples of some of the matinee work that I have done for a project I was working on a couple of years back. The whole purpose of these examples is to show the variety and extent of what you can do using matinee. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in the engine to get started. Alright, now we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, dive in and get started. So, first things first, I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to be creating today. So I'm just going to open up this little matinee actor and I'm going to show you. So at the moment, I've got this little basic cube here inside of my level, and what we're going to be doing is pretty much going over an overview of uh, the matinee interface, show you how all the tracks work, how to make keyframes and all of that, and uh, we're going to be setting up a basic movement track for this cube. So you can see it's going to start off by rotating and then it's going to move up and it's going to keep rotating and that's going to last about five seconds. Uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, get started. So I'm going to find my little matinee actor uh, that I've made already. Just using this I'm going to select it and that was the first one and I'm going to delete that. So we've got a fresh base so you can see exactly what we're going to be doing from the start from scratch. So First things first, if you're going to be working with an object inside a matinee, I do advise you select it before you do create your matinee actor. But once you've done that, just go ahead and go over to matinee up here in the top and click it and then press add matinee. And once you've done that, you'll then have a little matinee actor dedicated to uh, what you're doing. I'm not going to bother about uh, naming it at the moment, but this is the matinee interface. We got this open now and we can actually start working with uh, the objects in our level. We can start creating all the animation sequences for them and all of that good stuff. So before I do start making these uh, sequences, I just want to go over a few things in the user interface. Um, for the most part, it is pretty simple. Um, at the top here, you've got all your playback controls. You've got play, loop, stop, reverse playback speed, uh, pretty self-explanatory really. Um, and then down here you've actually got where your tracks and you're going to be able to see those and you can sort that through cameras, skeletal meshes, lights, particles, so on and so forth. I'm just going to leave this on uh, on all for now. For those of you that have done any, vi any video editing in the past, um, you're going to be pretty much, you're going to be pretty familiar with uh, the way that matinee works in the sense that you're going to have all your little keyframes, you're going to have all your little events on the track and all that good stuff. Um, but the rest of it, we're not going to worry about for now. Out. Just you got your tracks, and then you're gonna have your groups over here. You're gonna see those once I actually get into it, and you got your playback controls. That's the most important stuff that you need right now. So let's start off by creating a little movement track. So with the object selected, seeing as it's gonna be a movement uh, track, I'm gonna change it from static to movable. Just go ahead and go to the details. Uh, just select your object, go to details, and set it to movable. Once you've done that, we can create our first group. All of our movement tracks, all of our animation sequences, they're all going to be in groups. And that's either going to be a camera group, particle, skeletal, lighting, or director group. For now, um, we're just going to create a new empty group for movement tracks. And I'm going to name this movement test, just like that. Now, to actually create our animation sequence, we need to create a brand new track. There's loads of different tracks we can play around with here. For example, we can have a sound track, a toggle track, visibility track. Um, all of these different stuff. We're going to be covering a couple of these over the next few videos. But for basic animation, turning things around, moving it up and down our level, we're just going to create a new movement track. So just right click on the group and go to new movement track and done. And then we should have our first little keyframe here and that's going to be in red. But before we do mess start messing around with that, we've got our little play space here. The little area, the beginning and the end of our animation sequence. So that's going to be marked by the red and the green little arrows here. So just go ahead and select those and set it to the distance uh, that you want to, uh, time that you want to work with. For me, it's going to be five seconds. So, or if you wanted to make that 10 seconds, you just drag the little arrows to 10 seconds 
just like this. Now, the reason you're going to want to do this from the start is because you don't want any extra leftover bits, especially if you're going to try loop it or if you're going to try reverse it. Um, you'll see exactly what I mean when you do make that mistake. But for now, I'm just going to keep this to five seconds, just like that, and uh, the matinee will end straight away. So I'm just going to drag that out, just like that. So we've got our first keyframe here, and the first keyframe is going to be where the object is already. Now, making the second keyframe is incredibly simple. Just press enter. It will make another one. You won't be able to see it, but you need to drag it out first. So what you need to do is hold down control and then click it and then just drag it into the next place. So for the start of my little animation for this cube, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. So to actually adjust the object on that keyframe, what we need to do is just double click that keyframe just like that. And you can see now it's going to say adjust key movement. That means we can now move our object and that's going to actually work in our animation. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the select and rotate objects transformation tool. And I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees and boom, done. So now let's just go ahead and look at the animation we've just created. So I'm going to press stop to go back to the beginning and I'm going to press play to see what we've got. And you can see now that the object is going to rotate slowly 180 degrees over 2 seconds as per the uh, keyframe. So let's just have a look at that again. Press play and you can see it's rotating. Now once again we can make another keyframe if we wanted to. Just select it, press enter and then drag it into the next place. So just control click and then drag it out just like this. And I'm going to drag this out to five seconds or just thereabouts and the next type of movement we're going to do is up and down so i'm going to select the uh, select and translate and we're just going to move this up here a little bit just like that and once we've done that uh, obviously making sure we've got the adjust key movement bit on again you're going to see that we have this little yellow line here to show us the movement of the object and it's going to keep making those yellow lines after each and every uh, little keyframe so i'm just going to quickly drag this keyframe back a bit and then I'm going to uh, make another one just click press enter control click and then just drag it up and you can see you've now got the two separate lines so as long as you keep making those keyframes as long as you keep making those movements it's gonna make that little yellow line there and this yellow line is really useful especially when you've got really complex matinees you want to be able to keep track of where everything's going uh, but yeah, it's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press stop press play and we're gonna look at our animation now You can see it rotates and then it goes up and you can see there's a bit of a judder in between Because it gets faster simply because of the uh, the distance between the keyframes here Whereas if I go and make that equal now just control click and drag put it in the middle point here and Done and as long as that's in the middle it should be about the right speed now. So play it goes up Nice and steady, just like that. Anyway, that's pretty much everything I want to go over in this tutorial. Don't forget, uh, there is going to be a whole bunch of more matinee tutorials. Um, there's also a couple of blueprint matinee stuff you can take a look at if you wanted to. Um, for example, this little uh, matinee here I've got for this little lift with sounds and all that good stuff. You can go ahead and look at that if you want to. The video is going to be up in the corner right here but uh yeah that's everything for this tutorial thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the next ones where we go over cameras sounds and particle effects goodbye